we just got done watching uh, Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell, and it was <laughs> it was such a great way to start off the year. Um, going into the fight, you had Ryan; he's undefeated, twenty and zero, and you had Luke Campbell who was twenty and three. And um, the odds were in huge favor of Ryan Garcia. He was uh, at one point negative four hundred, meaning uh, if you bet uh, four hundred dollars on Ryan to win, and he did, you would win one hundred dollars. So he was the heavy favorite going into it. The the people in boxing uh, kind of saw this as an even fight, 50-50, because uh, Campbell was an established name. He had gold medalist. He had fought up against higher level. Um, so it was a good matchup going into it. Uh, but the the way the fight played out was just that Ryan, uh, he you could tell that he was going in there to put on a show. Uh, it's, especially starting with the first round, he just kept, uh, he went in there uh, with a lot of power punches, trying to make sure that Ryan, that uh, Luke Campbell felt his strength. Uh, he put on a great first round, second round, he was doing a good job, and then he got caught. Um, Luke Campbell caught him with a hook and she knocked Ryan down, which was a big surprise. Um, but uh, I think that's the first time in Ryan's career that he had been down. But um, a- after that point, uh, Ryan Garcia just kept coming back. And then Luke Campbell, is he's, he's a solid fighter. He wasn't just going to go down. He, he put up a good effort. Um, but just over time, uh, Ryan just kept uh, landing those power punches on him. So um, I personally didn't think it was going to end in a knockout. Um, I thought it was going to go the decision, but he proved his uh, put on a great performance, Ryan. Uh, Luke Campbell put on an exciting fight, uh, a great fight to watch, great fight to watch. So then afterwards, then they asked, uh, you know, Ryan, who's he going to fight next? And um, well, uh, David Haney was there and David Haney has the belt, the WBC belt. And um, Ryan Garcia is now the mandatory for it. W- will that fight will happen? I don't know, because he kept calling out Tank Davis. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, I know a lot of people do want to watch Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. Um, we'll see. that. The thing with that fight is that it's a big fight, Ryan Garcia and Davis, Tank Davis. But right now, during these times, I know they can't maximize the, the, the revenue gate. Uh, have as much fans in the audience that they normally would for that. So I wonder what a fight of that magnitude if it if it'll actually come to fruition this year, or if they'll have to hold off on it to to maximize it. Because the thing with both of these guys, they're both very young. I believe Tank Davis is in twenty five, uh, around there. Uh, Garcia is twenty two, so they're still young. Where they can, you know, if things go right, you know, maybe they try to maximize profits. I don't know. But who Ryan will fight next? I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, who do you guys think? Uh, who do you guys think he will fight next? Um, Luke Campbell, good performance. Um, but you know, it was an exciting fight, uh, nonetheless. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Who both fighters will fight next? Um, and thanks for watching.